Well, hello there. This is Diamond from Diamond Shine. So, guys, I'm so excited that you decided to come and visit little old me in the studio today. I'm going to be doing something really cool, really awesome. I'm introducing some new products that I got from a wonderful vendor. Guys, you do not want to miss this video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Whenever you subscribe to the channel, you are telling me, Diamond, keep going. We need these awesome videos. Do not stop. Get it, 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 get it. That's what you're telling me. That's what you're telling me, okay? <laughs> okay. And also during the week, guys, we do one-on-one -on -one training. Yes. When I say one-on-one -on -one training, I'm talking about people call me with their wig problems. They call me with their vendor issues. Like, Diamond, do you know where I can get some cheap fragrance from? Diamond, do you know where I can do this? Diamond, my stuff is coming out too black. How do I do this? Where do I get my uh, color from? For cheap, girl. I ain't talking about no prices that everybody else pay. I'm talking about that cheap, cheap for the go low. So, yeah. So, guys, listen. I have a whole long list of vendors. Uh, I do so much on this channel, guys, and you all make it possible, so I just want to tell you guys thank you. So, go ahead and also listen. Before we get too deep in the video, I want to tell you guys also something cool that I came up with. I have also a group. It's called the Dessert Candle Group. I wanted to make the name really simple so you guys can find it on Facebook without a problem. I could have came up with a name like Chef D or whatever, but no, I didn't want to do that because, listen... It's not about me. I've made this group and it's like we're all a big community. We're helping each other. We're helping each other grow. That means that if it's somebody over here that know how to do gel candles and they're really good at it, I want them to go ahead and market those candles training inside the group where they can teach other people. If it's somebody in the group that sells this, I want them to sell it. This is the kind of group where it's like everybody is helping out each other. You know, so guys, you definitely want to join the group because the next Thing that we're about to do i'm about to introduce some products from a wonderful lady that's in the group you do not want to miss out on this group go ahead and uh click on that link it's in the description box and it'll lead you right to the facebook group all right so let's get into the part of the video where we do some awesome 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 things and that's cooking in this lovely kitchen i'm talking about candles baby get your get your stomachs ready for that <laughs> yeah so listen there is a woman in the group her name is Sabrina. Guys, listen, you got to know that she got that bomb. She got that yummy, yummy, okay? Look, guys, I have to really show you. I got to show you this stuff that she said. So, what she do is she basically sells pie kits. Yes, yes. Did, it, did I just say pie Yes, I did. I said pie kits. She sell pie kits for lazy people like me. People that's too busy that's like, oh my God, I don't feel like all that. I ain't trying to do all them in beds. Like, come on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> people like us. Okay, so she made, listen, when I made the last pies, I, when I did them skillet, y'all, I was not too happy about the embed process. I was like, oh my God, so that means I gotta make embeds, I gotta make pies, shells, I gotta melt the gel down, I gotta figure out which wig to put in. Oh my God, this is too much. <laughs> okay, I'm stepping out of it. And so look, <laughs> I saw her selling her pie kits back in the day, but I was like, you know, I'm like, you know, I was looking at her stuff. I was like, okay, okay, I like what she's doing over there. But in my mind, I was thinking, I'm like, you know, I don't really, you know, I can make my own stuff. But, but listen, when you start really getting busy and you start getting to the point where you have so much on your plate, you cannot carry out all of these wonderful duties on your own. Sometimes it takes a village to raise a business. Like, you know how it takes a village to raise a, a child? <laughs> that was funny. Yes, it takes a village to raise a business. So let me show y'all what all these things that came inside. Y'all get excited just the way I get excited. Like, I'm just lit right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. So look, she said, I'm picking this first because 
this was all that in the bag of chips, okay? I mean, when I smelled this, I was like, I was trying to find out her recipe, but you know, we're not supposed to just be asking people like, what's your recipe to your stuff? Her stuff smells so good. When the other person, Mr. Tony, when Mr. Tony posted her stuff yesterday because he ordered it, he was like, everything smells so good. I was like, listen, when I tell you everything smells so good, it smells good like I don't even know. She told me to stop shit sniffing it because she was like, girl, you're going to be in the hospital. You keep sniffing. I said, girl, I just can't stop sniffing it. The fruit smells so good to the point where though I don't even have to really put that much fragrance inside my, my pie. The fruit itself is enough. Like whatever she doing in this fruit, I think it's like some kind of crack cocaine or something mixed in. Okay. I ain't going to say that. All right. Next thing she got is some now this was um uh, this was pineapples. These was like little teeny tiny pineapple chunks, which is really cute because if you're not doing pies, this is good for your little cups. Also, listen, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not sometimes I don't want to buy the mold. And sometimes I need my stuff a little bit quicker than what they can provide the mold. Sometimes I need my stuff by Friday, and I know I can get with my girl and see what she got on deck. So these come in handy. So this is for when you use like, and you see how big the container is, guys. It's, it's you, you know, I just want to give you a, you know, kind of like an idea of how big the container is, okay? It's a very nice size, you know. It fits in my hand like that. This is the blackberries. I love the smell, of it, but I'm still trying to figure out what she's using, but I'm not even gonna ask for her secrets. I just rather just order it and be addicted. Listen, these blackberries smell like they got some uh, Kavarsi in it, like some kind of alcohol. I mean, I'm ready to just like just take them and put them in my room. <laughs> no, but for real, they smell good. Like it's a different kind of blackberry smell. Like it smells so like, she does signature scents and that's what it's called, signature scents. And also, she's like a chemist. So she has different scents that she used and we would never know her scents. I mean, don't tell us. We don't need to know. We just gonna keep ordering them, okay? This is her strawberries. What I like about her strawberries, they really look like strawberries. Like she gets her colors to the T. Like, oh my goodness. This, this smell like, oh God, they smell so good. It smells so good. Everything smells. So good and I'm not just doing this because I'm like reviewing this stuff no I'm for real this smells so good this is her peaches guys look at these peaches who can make a peach like she can like who can really make a peach so detailed like her like y'all know them not many places I've been <laughs> y'all thought I was about to start rapping no y'all know them nope 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 all right, so um, <laughs> they smell good and they colored like they are colored beautifully. You see that they look like real peaches. So when people buy your stuff and they see the color, they see the detail, it look just like real peaches. This caused people to really make an order. Like, listen, when you put your stuff online, people should be screaming like, "Oh, I need to give me some. That looks so good. Those peaches look so real." And that's what she do. Like, she make these pieces of fruit look so real. The colors are to the T. She's a perfectionist. I mean, seriously. So these are her strawberries. And so look, this is her strawberry crumble. And let mm -hmm. y'all, y'all thought out. Y'all thought I was done. Y'all, y'all thought I was done. It comes with wicks too. She sends um some wicks with the package as well. She sends some gel wax. Yes, y'all. She sends some gel wax. This is all packaged so neat and professional. Like I ain't never seen nobody in the industry just put so much into they like you know like she really put her all into this. That's why I'm like I would support her any day. She has crumble, and I'm gonna do like a pea, uh, a strawberry shortcake, but this is her crumble right here. It's like a strawberry crumble, and it smells good. It smells just like strawberries. Like, it smells like a strawberry cake. So this takes like the time, like really seriously, this kind of stuff is what takes time and it makes us not want to do it. Like I don't want to make a blackberry pie because I don't want to do the embeds. 
don't want to do a strawberry shortcake pie because I don't want it. But she gives us everything, y'all. Like for real, this is this is awesome. Her pie shell, she gives you the containers. I feel like I really went shopping at the supermarket for real. Like she gives you the containers and everything. So I'm gonna open up these pie shells. They are very good, very sturdy. I haven't smelled them yet, so we all gonna smell them together. Let's see how they smell, honey. Ah, I'm so happy. Okay, so here's what I do like about this whole pocket. I've never filled these containers, guys. If you, look, these are the ones that I've been wanting, the deep containers to put my pies in. So she really laced me up. I'm going to use these containers. I like these ones. But look at this pie shell. What in the, Jesus? Look at this pie shell. Oh, my God. These are so deep. Oh, my God. They are, what the crack shit I'm putting in? I don't need to be dealing with her, honey, because she gonna have me take a bite out of this stuff. It smells good. I'm giving y'all an honest review. I'm so excited. This is so good. And the pie, listen, the pie shell is very, it's it's very tough. It's very solid. You hear that? That's solid. That's not gonna break. It's like when you pack this inside your packaging and you put this pie together, this is a solid pie shell. It's not going to break. And look how perfectly it fits into here. Like the crust is on the outside. And, and let me tell you something. I'm going to put you put you on to something. These, these crusts, Flexi Mold don't sell these crusts. She has a signature silicone mold, like one that was personally made. It's not one. She has many that was personally made. So you won't even find these crusts on the website. Do y'all hear that? That's a thick, tough crust. Like, I, mine's, I be cracking them and stuff. You can't even crack it. Then she got the small ones. Now, the small ones is really cute because they got, like, this little braided look to it. I'm opening them up for the first time. Because y'all know we about to make some pies, right? Yeah, we about to make some pies, honey. This is all that in a bag of chips. And it's very thick, like I said. I'm taking it out. I don't want to just snatch it out while the plastic's still on it because I'm so anxious. But these are, this is the pie shell right here. Right here, I got two of them together. I don't want to take it apart until I'm ready to use it. I'm going to leave it here like this. And when I'm ready to use it, then I'm going to pull it apart. Because tonight we're going to make the big ones. We're not going to make the small ones. I just, dang, girl, what you using in this? Dang, Gina! Um, these smell real good. They smell and they fit perfectly inside the as you can see. Hold on. I really don't want to pull it apart, but I will. But you, they fit really perfect. They fit perfect in there. You see that? It's like edge to edge. So I really love what she's doing. Guys, listen, join a group where you can connect with uh, Sabrina. Also, when you do join the group, I'm going to have her stuff posted heavy. So if you come to the group and you say, hey, where's Sabrina? We're going to tag Sabrina because we love Sabrina. Sabrina has her own group, guys. So whenever you do join my group, I want you to go ahead and join her group where you can keep in contact with her um, about the new products she got. Because I'm sure she's always going to be expanding her line at new embeds and stuff like that. And as you grow, you know, you can contact her and she'll help you out. Okay, so listen, we already got everything we need right here. This is going to be a very simple candle. Um, these call for eco wicks, so you could use three eco, maybe eco what, uh, four, eco six? I'm using three CD6. I'm going to use three, six, three CD6 on mine. You could use three eco fours. Three eco fours is good, you know, but I'm going to use CD because I'm going to be using a gel and... This is paraffin, so I'm going to use three CD6. You could use three Eco 4s if you're going to be using soy. I'm going to use parasoy, so I use CD. Guys, I taught you already. I don't need to go back over it. So we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to uh, take two of the shells. Oh, my God. Listen, y'all. I just almost forgot it was another thing the shells in front of me. Look at God. Look at God. He just keep on. But that's how God do. He just keep blessing you, and you don't even expect it. You're like, Lord, something else. You done gave me a Corvette, Lord. What else is outside, Jesus? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. That's exactly how he do. 
And this is another uh, pie shell that she has. And these are my favorite pie shells, actually. Because, listen, the reason why I like these pie shells the most, I didn't even know she put this in the pan. I just remember. Y'all probably would have hit me up and be like, girl, why you ain't open up another thing? Because you know how on Christmas time, we go up to our brothers and sisters like, yo, is you going to open up? Oh, let me open it up. I'm opening it up. You ain't opening it up. I'm opening it up. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, <laughs> th this one is the one that I actually like because I paint the edges on here. Like, I paint it brown. So, this is like one of my favorite pie shells right here because I paint it all around here. and Or use cinnamon, but I paint this one. So this is one of my favorite. Guys, we're gonna really use these pie shells today. Let me see. Let me see. Let me put it in here to see how. Dang, I've been missing out. Why have I not been getting these? I need to find out. I'm like, dang, these little tins right here is better than the other ones that I've been using. I've been going to Hobby Lobby, y'all, and that ain't even it. All right, y'all, so look. Let's go ahead, let's get our wicking done. Remember, these are pies, and this serves as a vessel. So whenever your customer get this pie, it will not, I'm going to tell you, it will not melt down the whole, like, shell. The shell serves as, like, a vessel. And so don't be upset when you test it and it don't burn the shell up because it won't burn the shell up. So go ahead, guys, and I want you to get some wax. We already made pies before on the channel, but I want you to go ahead and triple wick this. Triple wick this three eco fours. 3 CD6 uh, and we're going to go ahead and get uh, what we going to do today. Are we going to do the strawberry pie, the blueberry pie, or the peach pie? Let's see. We might just do all of them. I don't know. Depending on how we feel. We're just going to get it done. Let's get it done. Alright. All right, so I went ahead and I had done some of the pies already as you can see. I did the peach one. I basically took it I put the peaches on here and I did the crumble and the ice cream with a little whipped cream in the middle and I did the blueberry pie these are just like the ones that I did on the channel a while ago I think I did like a skillet candle so it's just the same exact method like how you pour the ice cream on it everything everything is pretty much the same it's just this one is inside of a shell so I already went ahead and did the work for you guys but I'm got I'm not going to just leave you hanging so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this mini one and I'm gonna make a mini teeny tiny pie out of it I even did these small ones right here for you guys so you pretty much know <laughs> what to do because I've done this on the channel before and I'm going to post the link in the description and I'm going to post it in the description box for you guys that way you won't you know struggle finding it but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this really 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 small one so basically when you finish getting this solidified on the top you don't have to color this wax you don't have to color it because it's not going to be seen once you cover it up with the berries and everything you know just save yourself some supplies so you take it, you put a few berries on top. I'm gonna make this one into my blueberry. Blackberry pie, actually not blueberry, it's blackberry. So I'm just gonna put a few berries on top. And for the middle, I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut this one in half. That way it can cover everything up because one thing about these pies is you wanna cover up everything and that, makes it look so much more detailed it looks more better to me it looked better when you cover everything up yeah i thought about it i was like you know what we already kind of did this on the channel before and i always like to you know do new content i don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over but i want to show you guys a little bit of this because i never did a shell before so you pretty much got all of that done now the gel make sure you color your gel black not, I color mine black and a little a hint of blue. So make sure you cover it like a dark color. So you're going to go ahead and take that. I'm going to take it and just spread it. It's going to be a little messy. But find you a side and pour it. Because one thing I don't want to do is cover up my entire black theory. I don't want to cover up the entire black theory. So I'm just going to find me a side just love on that side remember gel is so easy to clean up so do not worry about the mess I know you probably like oh my god it's going everywhere you wasting it no you can clean gel up so easily and 
This can be your ice cubes tomorrow, I'm telling you. So you pretty much fill this whole pie up, but do not, do not, do not cover all your blackberries up. Like don't just take the drizzle and put it over all of your blackberries because you want those to be seen. Those are pretty special. Center your wick. This is the part where you center your wick because this is the part where you will, you will see this. All of this will be seen. So you can drizzle a little bit on the top. Just don't cover the whole thing up because you want to be able to see the detail of the blackberry on the pie. So I see like a, it's an empty corner right here and it's an empty corner right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those two empty corners and fill it up with some gel. Make sure all your corners is nice and filled. Nice and filled. And this is just really simple. Now remember, I made a mess. You don't have to make a mess. I just, you know, made this pie and I made a mess with all that gel right there. But when it dries, what you can do is you can take a knife and kind of clean up the sides or whatever. Just, you know, just take that knife and clean the sides up. But that's pretty much it. On the other ones, as you can see, I just wanted to do something really fast so you can kind of get an idea of how to do it. I haven't cleaned it up yet, guys, so it's going to look a little ugly. But this is this is how it looked before it's cleaned up. Now, after it gets cleaned up, this is how it will look. And when it fully dries, this is beautiful. Her embeds are really nice. I love the, the way these pies came out. They look amazing. Yes, guys. Yes, yes, yes. These look amazing. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You do not want to miss the nice videos that will be coming up this week, especially the ice cream video. That is going to be something to enjoy. And look at this one. Oh my God. That's why I always tell y'all, save y'all crumble because this crumble came in handy for this pie. It really brought the detail out of it. I love it. It's beautiful. So we got the blackberry pie and this is how the blackberry pie look with the shell without the foil. It's, it's really nice. It's a deep dish. So go ahead, guys. Remember to join the group. That way you can be able to get in contact with Sabrina. Her name is Sabrina Butler. If you want to look her up on Facebook or whatever, um, you know, if you don't join the group, that's a good way to find her is by name on Facebook. Inbox her, send her a message. Guys, be patient with her. She is a small business. So, you know, when you, you're dealing with a small business and they have a lot of orders, just be a little patient. You know, I always say give people a week or two, you know, just give them some time to be able to process your order. But this is it. This is the finished work of this pie. I got to clean it up, make it look cute. And I'm going to post it on my Facebook page, guys. I will see you guys again soon. All right.